Oh, a lot of crazy shit going on on the internet and shit. Um, Blazita probably is going to talk about this shit, but um, Shine um, shitted on Kendrick Lamar album. Now, Nipsey Hussle was saying that Shine can't come back to the West Coast and all that shit. Um, you know, I, I'm impartial, you know, to a lot of shit because I don't really be giving a fuck. But I believe that you're supposed to be able to have an opinion on music without motherfuckers wanting to shoot you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I got a fucking opinion. I pretty much say what the fuck I want. You know, I ain't worried about nobody wanting to shoot me or harm me and shit like that. Because if you want to kill me or you want beef and shit because I fucking said I don't like your music, like, you a bug the fuck out. Because it ain't like I'm like, you know, your mother's a fucking bitch or I fucked your mother before or some shit. Like, that shit is disrespectful. But, you know... We got a right to say we don't like music when we don't fucking like it. Like, what the fuck is going on? Perfect example, right? If um, Jay-Z or, or, or 50 Cent or even somebody at a lower level like Cameron, you know, them being executives at labels and having situations. If I go up there with my music and I say to them, you know, I want you to sign me and they don't want to sign me. Do I fucking hate them from then on out? You know what I'm saying? No, you just go to another fucking label. Do I just go to my iPod and erase all the fucking Jay-Z or like I don't like him no more? You know, do I wish death on him and shit? Like, no, you just fucking move on. You know, so it's like the way people be just taking this shit now. Like, when the fuck did these so-called street niggas and street rappers get so fucking sensitive about their music? You know, and I understand, like, how it's your art and you want people to like it. But, yo, for every one person that like it, you're going to have two that fucking don't. Like, that's just the game. You know, if 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 you prefer to go to World Star over Forbes, which most of y'all corny, suck-ass motherfuckers do anyway, that don't mean I hate you. You, un- you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, I might not fuck with you for reasons because I felt like I looked out for you and... And you should be more loyal to me or whatever. But, you know, the most unloyal people always questioning fucking loyalty. You know what I'm saying? So, what the fuck you got to be loyal to me for, you know? But the way niggas is reacting to the hate and, and, and all this fucking beef and shit behind somebody saying they don't like a song. I don't get that shit at all. Like, I'm fucking lost on that one. I I, I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? I don't get that one at all. I was wondering what the fuck that feedback was. That's your microphone? Say something in there? Say, Tad, your shit is on? Yes. Yeah, right, yeah, that was number two. That was just fucking like, shit was annoying the shit out of me. But, um, yeah, I, I don't get it. And, um, you know, I, I, me personally, Blazita told me some Kendrick Lamar shit I should listen to that maybe it'll make me like him and shit. I just never heard it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. I never heard nothing that I fucking liked. Some of the shit I heard, I thought the shit was super duper whooper trooper looper book bag and shit. And I don't fucking like book bag music. You know what I'm saying? I don't like nobody with no fucking flat top. I don't like nobody with no fucked up fade. I just ain't listening to your shit. Y'all remember when I said that shit on Twitter? I don't listen to Currency because I just think he got a stupid fucking face. You know what I'm saying? Like, his face is just (laughs) stupid. So I don't listen to that shit. Like... His facial expression is just dumb. Like, and, and I'm and, and it might might it, it might not make sense to y'all, but let me make it make sense to you. Back in the days when rappers came out, you liked the rapper based upon the shit he was saying, and the fact that you might have wanted to be like him. Like it was a, a a connection. So if a nigga rhyme about weed. In the jet life and all. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Because I don't fucking smoke. I don't drink. So I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. So, so a lot of times it's like. The, the, the jet life. What the fuck is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? So And then when I look at him. He got a stupid ass face. I'm like I'm never going to listen to this shit. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about currency. Oh. I don't listen to currency. Neither do you. So you're about to take up for him. So Blazita's gonna play this Kendrick Lamar song for me. Yeah, there's a few I wanna play for you. Your microphone is not on. Oh. There's a few I'm gonna play for you. No, not a fucking few. Play that <laughs> one that I'm supposed to I like. like. Yeah, that song is dope though. That song is dope. Yeah, and play that. 
play th- find out it's a true true story. Man, all these niggas say that shit is true. Play that motherfucking Uno song that I'm supposed to like. It ain't going to change my opinion because I still think he got a fucked up haircut. Yeah, but you say that and then you don't even listen to the music. But then you say, oh... I like told you. Shine was right, but how do you know Shine was right? He, Yo, Shine is right. He said, <laughs> no, but Shine said the beats are trash. That's his personal opinion. He has the right to say that. <laughs> Just like when Shine dropped them records and we was shitting on him, right? Yeah. He Shine. had to eat that. He didn't no, say. He didn't eat that. He he was thinking he was the best. Yeah, but did he come back and say, when I get back to the States, I'm going to kill niggas for saying I'm corny? No. <laughs> he said, Yo. My shit wasn't right because I was in jail for ten uh, years. Excuses. Regardless, but he didn't have he didn't have personal beef. If somebody say nobody well, had personal beef, the yes, he did. Nipsey Hussle said he can't come back to the West Coast. Well, that's that's not Kendrick Lamar saying that though. But still, where's it where's it stem from, Kendrick Lamar? Nah, because Kendrick didn't say shit. But still, it's it's still niggas saying beef behind a fucking somebody not liking <laughs> the music. You want to say it right? Hold on. You but, know what I'm saying? But he said that, but then he also went in on dudes like Shut Up Faggot and all that stuff to Schoolboy Q and all those dudes. Who that? Shine? Shine, yeah. He's supposed to. What? What's? All right, we're talking about the internet, right? <laughs> what's the most word that you call somebody on the internet? Faggot, homo. That's all you can say. What are you going to say? Shut the fuck up, doodoo breath. Like, you don't know how that nigga breath smells. Are you going to call a nigga a fucking homo or a faggot? I'm saying, though, he was he was, um, he was was going in, but he wasn't voicing his opinion He's, anymore. But it started, he started from his in. opinion. It started from his opinion, right? Yeah, I guess. And then niggas feel the way. That's all I'm saying. If, if somebody say Doggy Diamonds doesn't do the best interviews, I'm not going to want to punch you in the fucking face. I'm just going to be like, fuck you. But that's also your opinion. I don't see why we would have beef. Forbes DVD Live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on DTFRadio.com.